I gotta tell you, when it comes to Norwich City, I have fond memories of the club. Back in the day with Pookie in the Premier League, he was the one that everyone was scared of for like a couple of games and then the team fell apart. And talking about falling apart, this squad right now is in the championship, in the 10th position. Fans have been waiting for their return into the Premier League and it just hasn't happened. Norwich City clearly is in help or in need of help i should say and i've been watching a couple of their games last season and this season i can tell you right now it's an extremely frustrating experience to watch them play sometimes you watch them and you're like oh my god we're actually sick and then the next game you watch you're like they should get relegated from the championship so i am diving in to take over norwich city because i have some sort of connection with them last time i rebuilt this team we had tons of people absolutely loving it and there were there was a rule that i had at the time and that was if i reach the champions league final or by the time i reach the champions league final i have to have at least two players above the age of 30 in the starting 11. let's upgrade that this time on fc24 let's make it three so what do i personally know about this norwich side now i am aware that there are a couple of incredible players in this team first of all gabriel sara i think he was here when i did the last rebuild of them in fifa 23 as well and i can tell you the guy is still a ridiculous player he was linked to the likes of atletico madrid and still hasn't made that move he is in no way shape or form staying at norwich city after the season especially if they aren't getting promoted there is no chance he should be sticking around. If he does, much respect to him. Norwich fans are going to be very happy about it. But when it comes to the rest of the side here, there are a couple of talented players in this squad, but I still don't see a certain, like, style of play, a certain style of, like, breaking down opponents and getting those attacks in. I haven't seen that with Norwich this season. And one player who I specifically paid a lot of attention to is this guy, Marcelinho Nunez, the Chilean who actually plays for the national team, but barely has played for Norwich themselves. It's a shame. It's a shame because he is someone that has a lot of potential, but just hasn't really shown it. I don't know what it is with him. Is it the position that he plays in, the style of play they use him in? I am not too sure about all of that. The one thing I know is he's still a youngster, 23 years old. Gabriel Sara is only 24 years old. So you have a bunch of players that we can definitely use moving into the future. If you are, however, wondering about who got the most goal contributions for the team this season, it's this man right here, Ro. He is a talent, 20 years old, English. He's definitely someone that we need to put a lot of emphasis on. Someone we definitely need to focus on alongside, obviously, Gabriel Sara, who so far has four goals and six assists this season, which is already huge. And then you have Ida, who has come in with four goals himself. And then Huang Yu Zhou, who has two or three goals so far. So clearly, we definitely need others to help these guys out in terms of scoring goals and getting assists and all those things. So... Let me try and do that by just jumping into the transfer market immediately with the budget of 16 million and ideally making the team younger already. Well, I've made a couple of decisions, my friends, and those decisions are on your screen right now. I've let go of a couple of players like Hanley, Oriel Hernandez, and then we have let go of Sorensen and Gibson as well, which now results in a budget of 27 million. But as we are right here and talking about the championship already, I want to know from you guys, what do you think of Leeds United? I think they're definitely going to go up and I'm extremely impressed by Somerville. The youngster is doing so well for Leeds United this season. It's It has to be considered as his proper breakout season. I know previously he's had some really good performances as well, scoring against the likes of Liverpool. But personally speaking, this year he has been unreal. Alongside Ruta as well, who at first was deemed to be a failed signing from Hoffenheim initially. But now he's doing really well and is going to be one of the main reasons alongside Somerville as to why Leeds United is going to go up again. Are you happy about Leeds United going up? Do you think they're going to do it in the end or are they going to fail miserably? So let's start off by building a proper defense. And the 30-year-olds, I will be bringing those lads in later on, definitely. But right now, we need to focus on improving this team. And this is someone I've never used and I wasn't even aware of. Alexandre Penetra. Now, I can tell you that I've been watching a bunch of games of AZ Alkmaar this season. I've already watched at least six to eight of them. I cannot remember this guy ever getting playtime. So this one surprises me. 
And for that reason, I'm going for it. Penetra from AZ Alkmaar is a youngster. He's a center back, right footed. He comes in at the, at the height of six foot one from Portugal. Since I haven't seen him play yet, he must be a decent one if EA is willing to give him that high of potential. So I'm actually excited to discover a new talent for myself. And as I do this, Liverpool just failed to beat Manchester United at home. I think we had like 28, 29 shots and none of them were good enough to beat Onana. Onana had an incredible game and uh, GG's to United for coming out of Liverpool with a point and having played Johnny Evans at centre-back. I mean... What are we doing, Liverpool? If you guys watch League of Football outside of PSG, you must know this guy. I am going for someone that plays for Lille. And we all know Lille brings up a bunch of talents. It feels like every season. And this guy has been around for a little bit longer. He's 24 years old. It's Alexandro Ribeiro, the Brazilian centre-back, who's put up unbelievable performances this season as the defender in front of Chevalier, the French young goalkeeper. And he is someone to watch out for. He could be the next one that gets sold on as he's 24 years old. Maybe that's the time for a team like Lille to cash in, but he's going to come in as a centre-back for this team as well. I'm very happy that we brought him in, a left-footed centre-back coming in at the, uh, at the height of 6 for 2 alongside Penetra, who speaks Portuguese as well, right? So both of these guys speak Portuguese. They should be able to communicate really well, and that's a nice upgrade for our centre-back spot. Now, at this point, I have about, about like 10 million left. I'm going to keep Borja Sainz as a talented player, or I'm actually going to move him on because I looked at the stats and I didn't really necessarily see him do too much. So maybe Norwich City doesn't see much in him. And also, on top of it, keep in mind that Josh Sargent is also a player in this team who last season was actually doing somewhat okay. And I remember him picking up an injury and he hasn't played for Norwich in a long time. So I'm going to give this young American a chance to prove himself in the game. Last season in the championship, this player was amazing. Next season in the Prem, Burnley Zarauri has not been able to pull off the performances. He has not been given the responsibility by Vincent Company. So I am bringing him back into the championship. This is the last transfer I'm making. Burnley Zarauri is going to be our player. And Borja Science, you might be, you might be talented, but... I've looked into your stats once more and I've realized you haven't really done much for this Norwich side. So I'm going for Zarauri on left midfield, Rowe on the right wing, Sara in camp, Sargent at striker, Nunez and McLean in midfield. And the two new defenders are going to hold it down. And Angus Gunn, who I believe is also Scotland's goalkeeper, is uh, going to be the man for us this season. Well, I can tell you this much, my friends, and it's the fact that we are probably in the playoff finals for promotion. Yes, this team might have already pulled it off. We are actually in the play playoff finals. So here it goes against Millsbro, a team that I used to kind of really like when I was a kid. I don't know why. I think Punjai Shanla used to play there, uh, the long-haired Turkish guy. But this is the team that we have right now. It's looking very good in terms of the ratings for certain players. And for others, not so great. We definitely need to upgrade massively if we were to get promoted into the Prem. Now, I wouldn't mind staying in the championship for another season to build even more. But we are going up. Gabriel Sara and Sargent are the ones doing it for this team. Guys... This squad has worked hard on it to get it done this year already. But sadly, some of these players that have definitely helped us will have to be moved on. McLean, for example, 32 years old. For whatever reason, Rowe is just not getting the playtime or not playing as much as he would like to. Uh, Stacy is someone I might replace. But first of all, Giannoulis, who actually in real life has gotten a couple of assists already this season, is someone that I might have to move on as well. And in the goalkeeping position... Gunn is a decent one. Don't get me wrong. He's actually okay, but I think that goalkeeper position is too important to leave it at a 77 going into the Premier League. So a couple of decisions to be made as we do go up. That is for sure. And we do see Sara 20 and 11, buddy. Sergeant 20 and 7. We trusted him and he repaid us. McLean, appreciate you. Captain coming in with 11 and 4. Sara already performed. And Plajeta, this guy... Seven and five. Science also got a few things done. So I guess that's why our right midfield, big talent low, has not grown 
It is what it is. It is what it is. One of the more impressive sides in Spain this season is definitely Las Palmas to me. I didn't think they would do as well as they have done because I watched them last year in the second division. They had a couple of really good players like Jonathan Vieira, who I believe has left them just now. But I didn't see them do this well, especially their goalkeeper has impressed me. And Sergi Cardona. This guy is a very talented player. And last season, I didn't really believe in him as much. But this season, he has impressed me. He's going to come in as a new left back into this team with a rating of, if I can find him, 77. That is perfect. Comes in right between Ribeiro and Penetra's rating. And he doesn't cost us too much money on top of it. Six foot one tall, so quite physical but also happy to move forward and Spanish. So he should know how to play a good pass or two. So now moving into the midfield, I wanted to bring in a player I've never used before. And this one, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I need this guy in my team. Who is he and why is he so high rated? This guy is named Christos Saferis. Now he is sounding Greek, but he is actually from Norway. He is walking into our team. Coming in from Slavia Praha with a 78 rating possibly, maybe even 77, there we go. And he is someone who looks extremely well-rounded in his stats. Five, uh, five foot eight, not 58 height. Uh, and he comes in at the age of 21 from Norway. Look at the stats, 77 pace, 72 shooting. So many really, really good stats on this guy that I was like, yes, I need him on my team. And I realized that I'd never used him before. Now, this also forces me to play a two center midfielder formation here. So we don't necessarily have the greatest defenders in the squad at the moment. And Nunez, if you stop growing, I'm happily bringing in a CDM because I truly don't believe he actually has a future at Norwich City anymore. Even though he has started playing games again, I don't know, man. It's been so up and down with him at this club. So I might replace him in that spot. But Stacy. Is probably the guy that I'm going to give another chance to this season. Ro, I might have to turn into a backup right mid because right now things are not looking good for him. He might not be able to compete on Premier League level. So for that reason, my last transfer is going to be a right mid. This next man is Argentinian and he has had 12 goals and 4 assists in the past year. This guy is Benjamin Rollheiser or Benjamin Rollheiser or however you know how to pronounce it in Spanish, but I'm just doing it in German. This guy's coming in with a very, very good all-round stat for that right midfield position. Someone who I, I think used to play at River Plate and I was kind of like pushed out of the team and now has been doing really well ever since then. But right mid, striker, center attacking midfielder already telling you that he can play many positions. For me, basically, this is the uh, Argentinian Tsigankov. Tsigankov, the Ukrainian right wing from Girona, who can basically play any position in the attack. He is uh, the one right here. 85 pace, 76 shooting, good passing, good dribbling on top of it, left footed to cut inside and only five foot seven tall. So surely he's going to be an amazing dribbler. Power shot, technical, and flair. Welcome, Rolheiser, into this team. I feel like this squad could hold its own in the Premier League, and I'm done spending my money. Cheapskate. I can tell you this much. I had not expected that at all. Seventh. Yes, guys. This Norwich side has gotten seventh after just being promoted, and I didn't buy any massive players. 63 points. That gets us Conference League football, if I'm not mistaken. But there's another thing you need to take a look at. We are currently in the FA Cup final. Yes, FA Cup final against Arsenal. Right here, right now. We're about to take them on. They have Coates and Schlotterbeck at centre-back, which is interesting enough. But lads, this is the moment. Can we get this win and a European trophy, uh, not a European trophy, but a domestic trophy that also leads to European football? Here it goes. Oh my God, they've actually done it. Sergeant, 96th minute. He has been the one to finish it off. Sara Zarauri, Sergeant. Jesus has scored for them alongside Saka, but that was not enough. I can't believe this, bro. Why is this team so good? It doesn't make any sense. I really don't get it. So we have won the FA Cup. We are going to be playing Europa League football. We came in seventh in the league. 
and we have a bunch of players who look amazing right now. Rolizer has gone up to an 81, Sara 81, Nunez 77. For whatever reason, they have given him the captaincy. Zaferis up to an 80, Zarauri 82, Cardona, Ribeiro, Penetra, even Stacy, I think, might have gone up a little bit there. Dunn, plus one, I think. I am very impressed that this team has gotten that far with a 78 and then 79 rated goalkeeper. Well done, Gun. I have nothing to complain about here. Even some of the players on the bench here seem to have done well for themselves, getting a little bit of growth. And some players have come back from their loan deals as, loan deals as well, like Solis, like Gibbs, I believe. These guys have returned, so they have been good backups for our squads. But still, it doesn't make any sense to me that this team has been capable of pulling off those types of performances. And Sargent is the man. 79 rated, 21 goals. And then the new signing, Benjamin Rollheiser, coming in with 14 and 5. While Gabriel Sara gets 9 and 7. This Norwich, Norwich team has definitely surprised me this year and i cannot wait to see what we can get done next season but having said that some big transfers have to happen this time goalkeeper and right back has to come in and ideally i bring someone in that's maybe like 28 years old so by the time this team is actually maybe in the champions league it could be 30 plus plus. and you know what since we already have the left back of las palmas let's get the goalkeeper guys i think he might be one of the only goalkeepers with a man bun in the game alvaro vales as i mentioned earlier on is a goalkeeper who i think has done so well in la liga this season impressing me so much and i ideally would like to see him move to an even better team down the line because at las palmas he has a lot of work to do and he saves them a bunch of times but if he was part of an actual really, really good defense, I can see him do even better in terms of clean sheet numbers. But Vales is here, just like Cardona. He has now come in and he is 27 years old. So ideally, within like three seasons time, we should be good enough to compete for Champions League. So I'm thinking at that point, he could be old enough. Hopefully that, pa that plan works out. Otherwise, if we go too fast, I might have to bring in someone else. But he is hopefully the first 30 year old is it just me or has it gotten to a point where buying players from the spanish league has become so much fun again i am bringing in juan foyth i believe a former tottenham player i could be wrong but this man is a right back slash center back who's currently linked to the likes of Bayern munich because they are looking for exactly that profile right back slash center back now i mentioned in previous videos i want Gertrauda to be that man but foyth has proven himself in uh, Villarreal. Now, having said that, they're not necessarily doing too well. After Paul Torres left the centre-back position of Villarreal, now Foyth leaving as well, that could really hurt them. But he comes in now as a very high-rated player, 27 years old at this stage, just like our goalkeeper, and definitely an upgrade for our squad overall. And I, I do think I'm going to give Nunez another season. If he keeps growing, good. If he doesn't, he's going to drop down to the bench and we're going to bring in a proper defensive midfielder so that Zaferis can focus on the offensive side of his game, which he seems to be incredible in. But having said that, he's like five foot what? Five foot eight. And he has 80, no, 79 strength. That's pretty impressive, pal. Well, sadly, this season didn't go exactly as we would have hoped. We dropped out of Europa League after playing against Porto. I believe they might have come down from the Champions League and that just kicked us out. But, lads, I have news for you. Norwich City is currently second behind Manchester City. Yes, the team that we're building is capable of competing against the likes of United, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Spurs, Villa, and be above them, which is just unreal. And having said Villa, how long do you think Villa can keep this incredible form up? How far can they go this season? Can they actually compete for top four and stay in there? It is crazy what Unai Emery is able to pull off with some teams in the past, and he could do it again. He really could. So let me know what you think about Villa this season. But lads, this season was an amazing one for the team. And in terms of growth, hey, Nunez did go up. But I have money in the upcoming season, probably lots of it, and I am willing to spend it. And Nunez, I could be dropping you because you have disappointed me too many times on so rare. But uh, Sergeant Sara, Zarauri, Rollheiser, all looking solid. Defense all above 80. That's exactly what we needed. Otherwise, there's no chance we get into that top four. 
And look at this Argentinian right mid. He is ruining everybody. 33 goals, 15 assists. This man has had 48 goal contributions this season. And Josh Sargent, I'm not impressed by the fact that you've scored 33 goals. I'm more impressed by the fact that you've had zero assists. No passes to your teammates to get goals? You are one selfish man. Zarari has 14 assists and 19 goals. Really, really good stuff right here, guys. This has been our best season so far. And obviously, some of these lads have now aged. Not some of them. Every single one of them. That's the human thing to do. And uh, hopefully, some of them will be 30 plus by the time we get to that Champions League final. But having said that, let's make some transfers. An upgrade again. One of the players that made the most sense to get is a player that left the Prem just recently. Ruben Neves. He is returning. Yes, guys, it's time to bring him back from Saudi. And he is going to take over that right centre midfield slash CDM position. Al Hilal no more. Back into the Prem he goes. And I actually wonder if that's going to happen with a couple of these players. Because I got to say, look, I understand that Saudi wants to build up their league and bring in a bunch of class players right world-class ones super talented ones like gabri vega and more but i've watched a couple of the games over there and the, the stadiums are just empty like ronaldo plays in a stadium like his games mostly are the ones where you see the most fans but then you look at the other ones like benzema for example i think what crunch posted a video just recently as well where he was like in the stadium hoping to get to meet uh, Benzema and stuff. And like the game, the stadium is nearly empty. And I'm like, oh man, you got to do more than just bringing in the players. You got to buy some fans. That's what you got to do. But here is now Nunez being dropped finally. And we're going to be bringing in, of course, Neves comes in with an 86 rating. I'm going to turn him into a CDM. He's going to hold that position for me. And he's going to be great at it. 29 years old. Foyth is now 28. Vales is 28. So in two years time, we could have three players above the age of 30. You know what? I'm actually open to bringing in even more later on. So let's see what happens from this point on. Well, this time it's not second. It's fourth place for Norwich City. Which is okay because we get ourselves Champions League football once more. And talking about that competition, it didn't go too well. We got kicked out of it by PSG. 6-3 on aggregate in the end. And that just wasn't good enough. So clearly, there's a lack of strength in this squad that I can't really pick out right now. Because I'm seeing a bunch of really, really good players. And a team that technically should be capable of to compete on the highest level. The first trophies should be coming in anytime soon. Vales, 29 years old, Foyth, 29, and Neves now should be 30. Yes, he is. And I'm very much open to bringing in more older players later on. And some of them might actually be absolute stars because we have, com we have basically established ourselves as a Champions League club at this stage. Hopefully, some of those stars will join us. Now, Saraori top performer this season and that should say everything about it because our striker hasn't performed as well our center attacking midfielder has done all right Volheiser, who had an incredible year last time around has slowed down massively this time so i don't know if it was the change to bringing in a cdm instead of having two center midfielders but our offensive output has definitely dropped down and that's something to keep in mind as we go into the next season so norwich city what are you going to do in the transfer market? How about a world-class centre-back? Yes, I am bringing in Eder Militao. The man has been injured for quite some time in real life, and I haven't heard anyone talk about him, but he is quality. And when he is back, Real Madrid is going to be even stronger. It's going to be so hard to stop Real Madrid from just going ahead and ruining everyone. I can easily see that happen. In the upcoming uh, couple of months. I believe he might be back in like January, February. But Militao, actually no, maybe not. Maybe a little bit later. But he is here now. He is 89 rated. He's the highest rated player we have brought in. He's 29 years old. So he's going to be coming in as the, hopefully, fourth player above 30 years old at the time. And I think it's a massive upgrade. And it is an upgrade that could take this team to the next level. I'm very confident about that. So Militao... You, my friend, go ahead and win the Champions League trophy with this team. That would be something to watch. Oh, we actually got past PSG. I was completely 
like expecting us to get smashed, but we're in the Champions League final. We are in, we got past Leipzig, then it was PSG, then it's AC Milan, and now Manchester City in the final. Guys, it has happened. I thought, I never thought it was going to happen this season. There's absolutely no chance, I thought, because PSG kicked us out already last season, if I'm not mistaken. And I thought we didn't improve enough to beat them now, but we did. 2-0, 2-1. Before that, Leipzig, as I mentioned. This is amazing stuff. So our team is now in the final against Manchester City. Sargent on an 88. Sara, 88. Ruben Neves, 88. Zaferi's 88. Zarauri, 91 alongside Rolheiser. I'm very excited to use him uh, in this game. I haven't used him before, so that's going to be quite a lot of fun. And the same goes for Zaferi's. But then we have Cardona on an 87. Ibero as well. Militao on the 89. I think it's the same rating that he came in with. And our goalkeeper is on an 88. And he might have been injured, but he's back again now, which is good. But uh, generally speaking... When it comes to the age of the players, 31, then we have 30, 30, and 30 once more. So we have at least four players above the age of 30. We only needed three. I was looking for others to bring in as well, but up top, I was looking at Lautaro Martinez, and it would have been fun, but at the end of the day, Sargent has done so much for this team, I just couldn't drop him. I just couldn't. So... We have gotten to the Champions League final, but how have things gone in the Premier League? Top four again? Second. Oh, what? Leeds United? How the hell did that happen? Manchester City in ninth. What kind of odd season has this been then? This is really interesting. Leeds United have won the Premier League. We couldn't beat them, but it's fun to see that current two championship sides are first and second in the Prem. All right, I'll take it. That's quite a bit of, of fun, of course. But then let's take a look into the squad hub right here and realize, Josh, there we go. It paid off to believe in you. Volheiser and Zarauri having good seasons as well. Ruben Eves coming in with 9-7, nine 9-6 and seven, nine and six from Gabriel Sara, 8-8 eight and eight from Christos Saferis, the Norwegian Greek, I, I should say. And then, yeah, Militao with two goals off a of centre-back, guys. This Norwich City side has deserved to play on this stage. It is time to take on City in the final. Who are coming in with... Who? With Haaland, Foden, Doku, of course. Makati is now in the starting eleven alongside Pedri and Rodrigo. Udogi from Spurs, Sutalo from Ajax, Kunde from Barca, Jan Kuto from Girona and Ederson in goal. All right. This is... Is about to be a lot of fun. Ever since the switch to ultimate difficulty, things definitely have been, not ultimate difficulty in general, but like turning on all those things like player based difficulty, competitive, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And also keeping the sliders upgraded for the AI to be better. Lately, my games have been the toughest finals. So I don't know what to expect here. I'm desperately hoping for a massive, massive win. And I have no idea what that stop sign means at the middle of your screen. What the hell is that? Didn't expect that one to go through. Now, Sara. Down the right goes Rolheiser. A man with the white hair and incredible dribbling, I assume. Rodri. Is, they are not getting too close here. Rolheiser is on a run. And Sargent is trying to have a bit of fun. Why not? But we still have it under control here. Smack it. Oh, there's some big save. Cutting in, seeing Sara open, he can shoot! Oh my god, Ederson, you gotta be kidding, lad. Move, down the right. Volheiser, make a downwards run for me, pal. There he goes, Volheiser. He's still going. These defenders don't know how to stop his incredible dribbling. Sergeant on his left, it's Ederson once more. Cross whipped in, it's a good one, Milita! That's why you're bringing a Champions League winner. Because he can win it again and again. The 30 plus year olds having a massive impact on the team. Don't give up on your old players too early, lads. And don't focus on just buying youngsters all the time. It's a mistake I make myself a lot. But you are limiting yourself to a pool of players that could dry up very quickly if you only buy youngsters under the age of like 24, 25. Getting these older ones in... A little bit further into your career mode as well 
you can get like the 25 26 year olds in and it's just so much fun these guys are amazing in the game uh oh city Haaland. good tackles and an even better save from alvaro Valles. and militao thank you very much we saved ourselves in the last minute here the ref blows the whistle for second half uh oh this is very dangerous Haaland. penalty it's a pen and a yellow card. Alexandre Ribeiro. Haaland, he always smacks it like top right. Oh, yes! Valles, let's go, buddy! That's why you bring in an amazing goalkeeper. He can give you moments like that. Bring that to me. There we go. Sergeant, oh, lovely. It is Sara who clearly should have won that one and put it into the back of the net but no the keeper wins that battle josh Sargent safiris once more he cuts in he's still able to hold on to the ball right here and there is now Rolheiza. yes there we go 2-0 i still have no idea what that pause button means i've never seen that in my life before but who cares you can put everything on the screen. This Norwich City side is going to lift that Champions League trophy today. Phil Foden, incredible dribbling. I cannot stop him. Oh my God, bro. Why is he so insane? There are like four minutes left. Phil Foden ruined my entire defense single-handedly. I'm going to hold on to this ball and not giving it back to City until I lift that trophy. And that is exactly what's happening right now. We are lifting the trophy and the Norwich original is going to be the one doing it. Gabriel Sara, I'm excited to see where your career moves into next. But that man is a special, special talent. The Brazilian lifts the trophy. Norwich City have written their name on it now. And guys, it was a joy to play with these players and build Norwich back up into Premier League football and more. I'm very much looking forward to the next one and hopefully you are too. Hopefully with the new PC now, we're going to be doing some live streams with Karimo to make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss out on them. Take care, guys. Peace.